to part two of detailing Mia. Last time we washed the car, we washed the wheels and we rotated the wheels around and then it got dark and working in the dark without good lighting and such is really not recommendable. So it's a new day and today we're gonna go even a step further than I first anticipated on and we're gonna wax the car because Mia is really feeling quite rough and yeah, let's start waxing, shall we? So I'm gonna start with the part I hate the most about cleaning a car and that's cleaning windows. Now, I, the only tip I know you should use is an automotive window cleaner, not a household one, because household window cleaners will deteriorate your rubber seals that are around your windows. And yeah, do not want that. So use an automotive one. I have used Chemical Guys. This one is from Angel Wax. I have one from Car Chimp laying around. So just use an automotive one. And if you have any tips or tricks on cleaning windows, I am happy to hear them because I really suck at cleaning windows. So one of my detailing friends gave me the tip to use a microfiber towel, just spray a few times on the towel, go over your windows and then take, turn around, take the dry side and go over it once again and then your surface should be streak free. So let's test it out, shall we? So something you also shouldn't forget is the inside of the windows, of course. Now, to get on, on the inside of your windshield, I saw a nice tip uh, on from the guys over at MONYC. So, or the one guy actually. I don't know his name, but it really is a detailing legend for me. Now, you can use the same technique, just spray some on the tile, towel, but then you're gonna actually turn your hand all over, so you can actually reach pretty good inside the car and just do your windshield in a hole otherwise you will be how do you say it struggle a lot to get in the corners So after our windows comes the biggest job and that will be applying the wax. Now what does wax do? Wax is a layer that you put on top of your bodywork to make it feel really smooth, to protect it from rain and bird poop and everything. It's a protective layer you can put on it. Now the wax that I use is a liquid wax. You also have solid waxes which come in kind of a pot but these are more expensive. This one is the Chemco Guys Butter Wet Wax. It's really easy to apply for us non-professional detailers out there and I really like this product the only downside is it doesn't stay as long as like the full waxes the but yeah what I use to apply it is this microfiber uh, waxing pad the thing the technique is you put a few stripes on your pad then you go over a certain area you then you let it harden for like a few seconds and then you take a clean microfiber towel and go over it just to buff it in and it will really make your car shine or give it a really deep shine depending on your product but I can really recommend this wet wax it works really well then let me just see that I'm showing this to you correctly then we take our microfiber pad you can put a few lines on there you can put as much as you want on it or as little it's just make sure you take piece by piece of your bodywork and then move from front to back or back to front either way you like it but yeah, so you put some on your pad, then you can start like, I'm just gonna do the trunk lid now. Just rubbing it in, I'm gonna need a lot more. And you just buff it up the whole area.
So now we got all these circular patterns in the wax. So the wax is now harding up. So now we take our microfiber towel and just buff it up, buff it out. So now our trunk is done, the paint really feels a lot smoother. So yeah, now we just go piece by piece. So just to show you how smooth this paint is, so this is my, just a microfiber, it slides right off. Now on rough paint work that won't happen, like there. <laughs> So now that the wax has been applied, we can end our protection with some kind of a sealant. I use uh, a spray sealant or a kind of show and shine. You have uh, Speed Shine or you have this VO7 series. That's the other things that I used in the past, both from Chemical Guys. Uh, so yeah, let's go over it one more time so that everything is nice and buff again. So let's get started. So, now the car has been waxed, the car has been sealed. As you can see, there's a nice shine on the bonnet. But now, the nicest part is that now your paintwork is protected from water and debris. It just, it won't stick to the paint anymore. And the nicest example of that, or the nice way to demonstrate that, is by using some water. So, I have some water here. I'll use this, and if we pour a little, see, it will just go off and not leave anything of any residue whatsoever. So that's the goal when you do something like this. So before I end the video, just one small thing I still want to show you. So we have, my exhaust has some nice chrome tips on it and I would like to protect it. Then therefore I use a kind of a metal wax. So, but this is the same as you use on your bodywork. It's also a wax, but this time it's for metal. So here I have the wax, shape before you use it. We just put on a bit and we just rub it onto the pipes. Now we let it sit for about like a minute or two and then we can wipe it off and we're done for the day. So guys, that's where I'm gonna end this week's video. In the previous video, we washed the car, washed the wheels, and we rotated them around. This week, we protected our paintwork, and we did our windows. 
and there's one more video coming and that's about the soft top and what I use to protect it against everything nature can throw at it but that's gonna be another video so before I end this video I want to tell you guys once again I am not a professional detailer if you have any tips for me or any suggestions on my detailing skills or techniques leave them in the comments below I read all the comments and I would really appreciate your guys' input so if you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you next week on Miata Action.